that now gee I'm gonna share with you uh, a little bit about charging crystals so I am in Dengriga uh, by the beach here and I received as part of my certification graduation we all received a carnelian a stone and this is a very abundant stone it helps with self-doubt and focus with work with any projects uh, it's a perfect stone actually for them to have gifted us uh, for our certification so um, since I am here in the ocean I actually was guided so having a connection with your higher self and your guides and really understanding the listening process of spiritual guidance uh, it's really all uh, about that so um, I was feeling into charging the stone specifically because I'm here and because I live in Pennsylvania and I am not really by the ocean most most of the time at all so this is very 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 special for me so um, I was actually guided to meditate in the water with the stone and really to activate um, this connection and multi-dimensionally connecting the intention that this was given to me with the intention of what I am stepping into and listening to my guidance and allowing the water, the ocean in this case, to charge it. So you can do this in the shower, you can do this in a, a creek, a waterfall, in the lake, um, if it is a water um, inclined charging. Uh, it can be many different things, and right now I'm specifically talking about water. So um, allowing the stone that has a particular signature, a vibrational signature, to expand what it's here to do, and really via my intention receive this activation this charging of the stone and it can be any crystal it can be a fossil uh, it can be um, I actually received from the ocean um, some driftwood and so I was working with that but that's a whole other subject and at some point maybe I'll talk a little bit about that so um, having these things in your awareness and when you receive these seemingly thoughts they're, they're really guidance but it, they come across as thoughts uh, in really kind of holding on to them and going hmm okay so if I'm supposed to charge it by the water then uh, when and how and what location and you know so you just uh, commune with this um, seemingly thought form which is really your guidance so you're communing with your guidance and you're having pretty much uh, a dialogue with it so um, and not really sometimes you receive a guidance for so I'm gonna put this stone let's say in my office or I'm gonna put this stone in my purse or you know and and when i touch it i will feel the energy of the space of the sand of the water of the pelicans that are flying all over they're very active today um of the sound of the ocean and the sound of the wind it's very windy today so so again the wind as an element and listening to this consciousness of the wind um so so it's a uh, it's a fine-tuning your listening that's pretty much what I'm talking about because there's no wrong or right so there's no wrong or right there is only your listening and you making steps toward obeying what your guidance is and the more you do that the more guidance you receive and a deeper connection to your higher self you have and you know so it just kind of keeps going and going and amplifying amplifying so I hope this was helpful uh, and I hope that you'll be out there nowhere no matter where you are I remember uh, many many years ago when I was in Peru I had these two crystals 
that were dug from under a waterfall that I got from John of God in Brazil. And I was guided to bring these large, it was a female and male crystal. They come in a pair. And this man, John of God, is from Brazil. So I was guided to take those crystals to Peru. And um, I was supposed to do something with it, and I had no idea. And I'm thinking, oh, this is heavy. So my egoic monkey mind is, oh, this is heavy. And I have to clunk this up, and I'm going to be traveling all over Peru. And, you know, staying in many different places, and I have to take this stuff. And so uh, my monkey mind is very active about it. And obviously because I'm very obedient I just did it and so um, it was interesting because we had traveled all over and I and I was thinking those crystals are just hanging in my bag maybe they're just charging from all these places I didn't really was guided not to do really anything specific with them they were just in my suitcase you know everywhere we went and the very last night that we were there we were actually going to have dinner with the shaman so he came to pick us up and as as I was taking a shower to get ready to go have dinner with the shaman the last night we were in Peru I received this download in the shower literally of going in the backyard of this hotel we were at which was actually uh, the Lake Titicaca and I was guided to go by the lake and to put the crystals in water. And I'm thinking, how is that gonna look like? Because the whole time we, we were just slept there two nights and I really didn't see how I could place them where or anything. And we were in a hurry because he was coming to pick us up. And I simply dashed with a flashlight in the dark uh, in this backyard of the hotel. And there was this little, um, it was like a little, it was like a little museum of the thatched roof little cabins. There are uh, thatched roof uh, little cabins in islands, in movable islands on Lake Titicaca that people live in. And that was sort of like a little museum of what that would look like. And I literally was guided to go right past this little cabin, this little hut. And in the dark, I had a little flush and I'm just walking and I'm like, okay, where do I go? And I was guided to go into this little dock and I had the crystals in uh, bubble wrap wrapped up because they're very, very special. And I had them in a, in a plastic shopping bag. And there was this dock and out of the blue, I'm looking around and there's this bamboo and it came to my head just stick this black plastic bag handles you know and get the bamboo through the handles and submerge them and I was like wow that's pretty brilliant and <laughs> I was like wow I can't really take credit for that I, it was really spirit it was like oh there's the bamboo and you just submerge it and uh, and you leave it there and I thought maybe overnight and it seemed secure and I so I did it they were submerged in the water in the lake Titicaca I dashed back, uh, we were, got picked up, had an amazing dinner, and I assumed that it, the crystals were supposed to be there all, all through the night, and that was not the case. As soon as we come back, I felt this need to go and get the crystals. And I was like, wow, let's see if they're even gonna be there, if I can you know, pick it up, if it didn't fall, if the bag didn't break. I mean, there are all these monkey mind activities of what if, what if, what if, and I simply trusted I went back there, got my little flashlight, got back there, and I found the bamboo. I lifted the bamboo, and there were the crystals in the bag intact. And I got all the water out of the bag, and I was just amazed. And the crystals felt incredibly different after that. And um, I dashed back in the room and got ready for bed and amazement. And uh, so, um, there is an enormous amount of potency in water and bodies of water. Water is the element that works with emotions and we are mostly made out of water. So really feel into that as you are discovering this connection to your guides and your higher self communicating and 
uh, just feel into it. It's very, very important. It's very, very sacred. And it's the thing that wherever you go, that's truly all that you have. You can lose your house, your car, your family, your um, everything. And your connection to your higher self is something that will always be there with you. It's always there. It's always available. It's a matter of accessing it. It's a matter of disciplining yourself to be able to embrace it. I hope that was helpful. Many blessings, Satnam.